hope all of you are doing good all of you are regularly attending interviews now when you try to get into a good company you always find the hurdle of hacker or platform where you will need to solve some kind of programming challenge this is actually a time saver for the companies to handle this huge volume of applications for each post they are able to find out the right people on board before the interview process starting itself by use making use of this platform so as a developer you have no way to escape from this platform you will have to somehow familiarize with this platform and you should be able to solve some kind of coding challenges using this platform to get into the stage of interview process okay so this is not that big deal in this video we will try to solve one pro programming challenge using c sharp programming language using this hacker platform that will help you to familiarize quickly with this platform so we will start here i am inside the factory space of the hacker platform you all will get this practice test for free you can say, select your own um, language of expertise and do take a practice test since we are focusing on c sharp today i have chose a c sharp practice test inside that on the left side left pane i you can see the number of questions i got in this practice test so for this one uh, i go to multiple choice questions uh, i skip the those two questions for the this video because we are trying to solve a programming question in this video so we have the third one is number of likes and dislikes that is a programming question we will try to solve it in this video today so the question is like your friend and you made a list of topics both of them voted if they like or dislike the topic they wrote zero to denote dislike and one to denote like they ask you to count the number of topics that both like or both dislike so we need to print the number of, number of items number of topics that both of them like or dislike so the input format will be like uh, we have a string a that denotes bobs likes and dislikes the second line contains a string p denoting alice likes and dislike so straight away you may not be getting this question correctly the intention of question correctly so there is a section called sample input and sample output if you could go through that sample input and output and they have also given uh, in their description how that output is reached from that input you can understand the question you can relate more easily uh, that output uh, with the questions there and their intention of that question so let's just quickly uh, see the sample input here we have two uh, inputs 010101 and 10111101 then we have sample output as 3 so explanation of this sample output is like they both like fourth and sixth topic and they both dislike fifth topic so the answer is three so we'll try to create an our own program for this uh, thing so we have a dedicated uh, session to do coding in this platform so we know that we need two strings so i'm just starting with accepting two strings so we have two strings p that will be will be coming from as input so i will be reading it from the console so i have another string needed that is a so i am also yeah i'm reading it from the console again so we have two strings now now i just want to check each character uh, of both the strings uh, in the same position if they are matching then we should uh, treat it as, a, as a consensus between them and we, we need to take that count and print that output so for that purpose i'm having a for loop so for when i type for itself it's thrown an error so yeah this is one of the things you need to learn because we should be inside a structural program so we need a class i am having a class then we should have a starting method so starting method should be static 
void main so you should be at least familiar with this uh, signature there is no intelligence provided for this thing okay and this formatting so now I can write the logic inside this okay so I'm just for looping through each character by character so I lift zero I less um, a dot length I plus plus and okay now I am accessing each character so okay I'm just checking whether both um, characters in the same place are equal in both of the strings make sure that you use equals for comparison of strings so okay now i need a placeholder to hold this like something we need to print out as output so i need a variable for that so i'm just trying to create one variable that is print output equal to zero now i try to increment this if both the condition is matching so i have one error i missed one parenthesis so yeah now that's it i have completed it now i need to print it so i will print it using console dot write line okay this is it so i need to print the output okay output okay if your connection is internet connection is good this intelligence will come very quickly so that will be some kind of time saver for you so yeah i think i have completed our program now i will compile oh my god we have a lot of errors why that happened because console does not exist in the current context i think we need to we have missed to add the system namespace so this is also something to be noted now we will check whether the count is reducing yeah it got reduced now i is undefined why i may not have declare a built-in type for that <coughs> now i am compiling it again oh, i hope now b does not why i compare with b because i have a and p actually so now again compile it should come down so so it is passed now our program is working successfully so a few things to be noted that our program should be in the structure we should have a static word main we should have a class and we should have the namespaces included so we should be something familiar with this kind of syntaxes before because this is not actually visual studio uh, the built-in code generation won't be there so that is one area we should really be careful when before we attend at going to attend this uh, coding platforms test we should be familiar uh, with the syntax of at least the console application in c sharp so yeah that's it i think that is something that i want to show it to you uh, i think yeah hope this will help you and happy hacker earth coding test coding challenge and yeah all the best for your interviews and coding tests. Thank you.